Seat engineers hit the same roads their VW counterparts chose for the development of the all-new Tiguan. Spain is one of the biggest automotive hubs in the whole of Europe, and we're curious to see how the Tiguan and its Latino counterpart will differ. If you like affordable, sporty-looking SUVs, we do, and enjoy driving, yeah, we do that too, the Leon-based 4x4 could be what you need. While VW is going for a bigger body and design that's similar to the Touareg, we see a lot of Leon design elements under this camouflage. The design has already been previewed by the 20V20 concept car shown at the Geneva Motor Show this year. We expect very sharp lines mixed with triangular shapes that are vaguely reminiscent of a Lamborghini. From the front, the bumper will be X-shape, there all the lines meet at the prominent S badge in the middle of the grille. As for the tail lights, they have sharp outer rings, just like the Leon's. We expect the engine range to start at about 125 PS, which means an independent rear suspension system will be standard. However, all-wheel drive is not for everybody and Seed probably plans to have a few front-driven models. This will help them compete with crossovers like the Nissan Qashqai. The 20V20 concept uses a 2.0 liter TSI turbo engine borrowed from the Leon Cupra, plus electronically controlled four-wheel drive and a DSG twin-clutch gearbox. The good news is all this tech will be available at slightly cheaper prices than on a VW Tiguan. A performance version has not yet been confirmed, but seat officials say it makes sense to have it. What doesn't make sense is a hybrid, at least not yet. Seat says until 2020, none of its cars will go green. As far as the dimensions are concerned, the seat SUV will stay close to the proportions of the 20V20, which was 4, 660mm, 183 inches, long and 1, 648 mm, 65 inches, wide.